The number of solves in this session is over 9,000! Hey guys, so I'm still in Arizona, you know, doing stuff. I'm outside. It's actually kind of cold out here. It's been raining and stuff. I wanted to talk about something I realized today about TS Elite, and that's that I did something correctly without really realizing it when I was learning it. Because there's a few different sets of TS Elite, at least there's a few different ways I define sets of TS Elite. I don't know if this is the common way that everyone does it, but this is how I do it. I define sets based on this front edge here and the corner on its left. So in this case, the corner has yellow facing out, so I'd have this one be in a set of yellow facing away from you. And about a third of TSLE falls into that set. Another third falls into the set where the yellow faces you. And another third falls into the set where you have yellow on top. You might think that since a third of cases falls into each of those sets, it doesn't really matter which one you learn first, but that's not true. You see, there are three main triggers that you use for a TSLE. There's RU to R prime, RU R prime, and RU prime R prime. And each of those solves a specific case. So this is the case that's solved by RU to R prime. You've got one facing you, one facing you, edge over here, and one facing away from you. So that's R U2 R prime solves TSLE for that case. Another one is R U R prime. Now R U R prime solves this case where you have the corner facing to your right, edge in the back, and then corner facing to your left, and that's just R U R prime. The other case is R U prime R prime, and that solves this where you have the corner facing you, corner to the left, and the edge in the middle here. This one, in my opinion, is the easiest to recognize because it's all right on the front of the cube. Something you can notice about two of those is this. For the RU to R prime case, you have the edge and then the corner on the left facing out. For the RU prime R prime case, same thing. The only one that's different is the RU R prime case where the corner has yellow on top. Because two of those cases have it facing out to the left, that's the set you should learn first. Because what that means is, if you learn all the corner facing to the left cases, you'll know about a third of TSLE. Then for other cases, you can try to turn them into corner facing to the left cases. Most of the time, you can do that with one trigger. Because two of the single trigger cases have the corner facing to the left, that means that sometimes you're just going to turn a case into a single trigger case with that one trigger you do, which will be the optimal way to solve that case. So by turning things into the corner on left case, that'll actually make it so that even with some cases that you don't know, just by turning them into that case, you'll be able to solve it correctly and do the algorithm without even knowing it. By this logic, the next set you should learn is corner facing up set, because once you know that, then you can turn other ones into corner facing up set cases, and then reduce it from there, and you'll have a chance of getting it into that single trigger case and solving it optimally. So basically, learn all the corner on the left cases first, then the corner facing up cases, and then you can get around to learning the corner facing you cases, but you'll realize that you basically already know most of them. Right now, I only know the corner facing to the left cases, and a few corner facing up cases, and like one case where corner facing you. And I'd say right now, I can solve 80% of cases optimally without having any idea really how I'm doing it, just turning it into a case I know, and then it just happens to be the optimal way, way to solve it. So yeah, if you're learning TSLE, go ahead and learn them in that order. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Andrew tries to awkwardly explain TSLE to a bunch of people who don't really care that much about TSLE, but also he wanted to make a note for himself and anyone else who wants to try to learn TSLE that there is an easier way to do it. So it's not just like 108 cases that are completely random. No, you can actually categorize them in correct ways that make it a lot easier. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.